Now, despite the sudden end of the Hanoi summit last week, South Korea and the U.S. remain committed to holding more talks with North Korea for denuclearization and hopefully lasting peace as well. To that end, the two allies have announced that their joint annual spring military exercises will be scaled down sharply for the time being. Won Jong Han reports. South Korea U.S. joint military exercises will be replaced with scaled down new ones to back diplomacy for denuclearization and long lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. According to the two countries' defense authorities on Sunday, Seoul and Washington have decided to revise their joint annual drills, known as Key Resolve and Four Eagle. The decision was made after a 45 minute telephone conversation the day before between Seoul's defense minister, Chong Yong Du, and acting U.S. Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan. It's a decision that reflects their will to maintain dialogue with Pyongyang despite the breakdown in negotiations at the second North Korea-U.S. summit. Following close coordination, both sides decided to introduce changes to the key resolve and four eagle exercises which are held every springtime. The command and control key resolve exercise could be replaced by a new drill named Dongmeng, which means alliance in English. The nine-day simulated war games are scheduled to kick off on Monday. The two nations will also downsize Four Eagles field drills to battalion-level maneuvers and conduct smaller but more frequent field training throughout the year. Despite the reduction in scale, the Allies pledged to maintain a high level of combat readiness through more missions-specific training programs. The two sides made it clear that their decision was in support of diplomatic efforts to achieve complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Last year, Seoul and Washington downsized a number of major joint exercises, including Ulti Freedom Guardian and Vigilant Ace, in the midst of warning ties with North Korea. Won Jong-un, Arirang News.